I play Rachel Morgan, who is um, a woman who has lost her child and is traveling to uh, to Hamburg after the Second World War, where her husband um, has been put in charge of one of the precincts trying to rebuild Hamburg. I read the script and I thought, oh, I've never read anything quite like this. And although I've been in a number of World War II films and have seen many World War II films, you know, I've never seen a film that was dealing exactly with this period of time, which was the direct aftermath after the conflict and, and kind of what that must have been like for all of those people. It was sort of kind of post-apocalyptic and how exactly you did rebuild after that. How physically did you rebuild uh, cities? How did you rebuild nations? And and as far as kind of relationships, you know, there, there wasn't anybody on either side of that conflict that wasn't touched personally by having lost somebody. And therefore kind of there were no winners. And sort of what did that look like and how did people kind of manage to move forward? And I think it was a question that actually I'd never really thought about. Um, and you, I, I think I realized, you know, that, that actually that generation, their great triumph was in fact the rebuilding after that horrific conflict. I did meet with Ridian, um, but I didn't uh the film, the script was very different from the novel. So I sort of left the novel and sort of went just for the script. And I did I did bits of research on my own about the period and then uh sort of loosely about grief because I didn't want to speak to anyone because I'm not a journalist and I didn't want to kind of in, encroach in anybody's pain. Um, so I read sort of various psychological uh, or kind of um, uh, things online about grief and how the different ways that men and women grieved. Um, and I think there was one thing that majorly stuck out, which was somebody who had lost their child, which said, you know, that there, there is no, there's no word for a parent who's lost a child. If you're a child that's lost, lost a parent, you're an orphan, or you're a widow, or you're a widower, but there is no word. So mm -hmm. it's such a kind of horrific, terrible thing that there isn't even a word in our language that can kind of cover it. And, and that kind of idea of somebody that no longer knows what she is, is she still a mother if she's lost her child? What function does she have? And I, I think I was interested in kind of all of those, those ideas within it. Coming from London, this time period is interesting because you literally walk around London and you see the scars of it absolutely everywhere. I mean, I think it was the last time that conflict literally came to British shores. My grandparents obviously were alive during the Second World War. My grandfathers fought in the Second World War. So I, I grew up with stories of, of that time period. So I think it's probably that that kind of interests me. It's, it's in the past, but it's still kind of very present. Um, so I, I, think I, I think that's probably why I, I kind of like revisiting it. James Kent is just one of the loveliest men in the entire world. I, I don't think there's a nicer man anywhere. Um, so, you know, I just met him and thought, oh, well, I want to spend a couple of months with you. <laughs> I love working with Jason Clark. Yeah, we work together with on Everest. Nothing good ever happens when we're married. Um, there he dies. Then this time we, our son dies. I mean, you know it. Uh, but he he is such a wonderful actor, and I I just totally love working with him. Alexander is. I think again, just a very, very lovely man. Um, so you know, I think it's it's great when you're kind of dealing with with a story that is sort of so complex and so dark. Um, it's really nice when you're working with really nice people. <laughs> I think it's a very, very grown up film. I think it's a very grown up love story. Um, and I think it's grappling with lots of questions that sort of seem very relevant to today. How do we rebuild? How do we see each other as human beings? Um, how do we bridge gulfs? Um, I think it's kind of, it's got all of that in it.